Hi everybody, Mike here again coming at you in early January 2023 with a message about the journey to excellence. So I'm going to dive right in here and start with for those folks who are experienced, you've done this many, many times and you just want, Mike, give me the quick updates, what's going on. Uh, this is for you. We'll get this out of the way and then I'll move on to the folks who uh, don't have as much experience with this. So for those of you who have done this before, yes, we are doing Journey to Excellence, or JTE, here in 2020, early 2023, reflecting back and doing it for the 2022 calendar year. Uh, the 2022 scorecards were updated late in the year, so I had one of our volunteers ask me about um, where the things went and something changed. Uh, please make sure to follow the link that you have above. I will show you what it looks like really quick. It'll take you to this page. And if you scroll down on the left under scorecards, you're looking for unit. And it has, as of today, the dash updated. Uh, go into here, look for 2022 JTE unit scorecards and select the correct one for your unit that you are serving. If you're a troop volunteer, you want to go check out the troop scorecard. There it is, just like that. My recommendation is to go ahead and print that, have a hard copy in front of you as you're doing this. Um, that's how I would do it. Uh, so that's my recommendation for you. There's the link right there. Uh, please, if you've uh, done this in the past, you've probably noticed that there are changes from year to year. Yes, there are changes from 21 into 22. Please read carefully and make sure that you're answering the right, right questions and not making any assumptions about the verbiage, the terminology, or the, the numbers. Um, Please do fill this out for your unit or units that you serve. Have the committee chair and the unit leader sign it, date it, and then find a way to get it to me. You can scan it as a PDF file or uh, take an image of it on your smartphone, uh, square it up, make sure it's halfway decent lighting, and then go ahead and email it to me as an attachment. I'm okay with that. As long as it can be printed and I can sign it and then rescan it and send it to council, we're good to go. Uh, the deadline this year, I'm giving as much latitude as I can to all of my volunteers. Friday, February 24th. Please get it to me no later than that date. And if you can, I really would appreciate if you get it to me before then. I don't want to get onslaughted with 60-some-odd JTE scorecards on Friday, February 24th. All right, This isn't super uh, terrible. Let's see if we can get this done before then. So that is for all those folks who are experienced and have done this before. For those of you who are new and are wondering, what the heck is this thing called Journey to Excellence? It is a national council thing. It's all about unit performance and, and recognition for do, doing the right thing, basically. It has a long history. It, is a, it used to be called the Quality Unit Award. It was retooled, renamed. Today it's called the Journey to Excellence. Uh, fundamentally, this is a self-evaluation that we get to do as uh, volunteers for our PACs, our troops, our crews, uh, on how things are going. It's an annual report card that we get to fill out ourselves. We should use this to determine what's going really well in our units and also, probably more importantly, where we have room for improvement. Those are the two things that this really tells us um, what's going well and what's not going well. Kind of like a stop, start, continue, but on an annual basis and, and doing it with some, some guidelines. Uh, please be warned, every year these are a little bit different. The goals are a little different and all that kind of stuff. And you can see that in um, the page I just showed you. You can go back and see all the scorecards for each and every type of unit from years past 27, 2018, all the way back to 2014. And you can see how this has evolved over time. And it's really kind of a fascinating thing. So I encourage you to do that if you want to. If not, that's okay. So what I want to do is I want to dig into, uh, instead of my, my slides here talking about stuff, I actually want to dig into the scorecards that we have by going in and talking about uh, packs first. We'll go ahead and, and uh, do this live online. Why not, right? Uh, and if you go into the unit scorecards, it'll send you right to that PDF file. And you can see that these are broken up into different groups. There are four groups for what used to be 11 goals total packs. Now goal number nine has been struck. I don't know why, it just is, no longer exists. The first one is always planning and budget. Do you have a budget? Do you have an annual plan? Did you have an annual planning conference event of some kind? Uh, with troops, you want to include youth members with that. And then there's to get gold is uh, to connect to Scout Book with your families. Uh, the second grouping is membership, both 
recruitment, retention, and then Weeblos to scout transition. You'll see this reflected in the, the packs and troops for sure. Uh, I think it's also in the crews. For the packs, you'll see the Weeblos to scout transition is definitely from the packs perspective. Are your scouts going to join a troop? Are they uh, uh, doing things with troops, right? From the troop scorecard, it's the pack. It's, it's, it's looking at the packs. Are we inviting them to our troop meetings, our events, our outings, our patrol meetings, things like that? It all makes a lot of sense, actually. The third grouping has everything to do with program, uh, starting with advancement and activities, outdoor things, and service projects. Uh, and you'll notice number nine here for the packs used to be are your packs and dens meeting on a re very regular basis for whatever reason national council saw fit to strike that in 2022 and then finally down at the bottom your volunteer team your leadership your adults uh are do you have enough to make your program work are they trained sufficiently and all that kind of good thing uh, all that adds up into a certain number of points from a certain number of objectives check the boxes and what did you end up with Every single one of these must be signed by the unit leader and the committee chair, signed and dated, okay? And when that's done, you send it to your commissioner. Hi, my name is Mike. I'm your district commissioner, and I am happy to submit this for you on your behalf. Let's go back real quick and take a, a quick look at the troop scorecard for 2022. We just kind of scanned through the pack real briefly. Uh, troops, again, very similar. You'll notice more in terms of engagement of your youth, your youth leadership. You'll see short-term camping, long-term camping, as well as the patrol method and all those kind of things. They are unique from pack to troop, of course. Um, a lot of the fundamentals are still there, but they are very unique. Let's take a quick look at the crew scorecard. We have four venture crews in our district. I see a total of nine, uh, nine goals. Again, the same four basic buckets. Uh, membership is a little bit simpler, building, you know, recruiting retention, uh, nothing to do with Weeblos to Scout transition here. Again, venture, leadership, growth, service, these are not surprising, right, for those of us who, who uh, have venture crew uh, volunteer service. So that's what's going on with those things. I hope that makes sense. Uh, I had some slides here, and these are going to be in the slides that are linked down in the description. Um, and, and I'll also link to the, um, the scorecard section here on uh, in the description as well. A quick note for anybody who's confused about the, the bronze, silver, gold. How does that work? Because in scouting, uh, sometimes silver is the top honor. Silver beaver is a good example of that. The silver eagle palm is is the, the highest honor award of, of I think it's 15 merit badges you got to earn for that. The uh, Eagle patch is trimmed in silver. The Cub Master patch is trimmed in silver. It's kind of a military history. And I say this every year when I do this. Um, this particular one, Journey to Excellence, is modeled more after the Olympic medals. Bronze is the, is the lowest, silver is the middle, gold is the highest. That's it. Um, so you're striving for gold. A very, and some of these numbers were created for a pack presentation in the past, so you can ignore the middle part. One thing I do want to mention, if you miss a goal or two, all is not lost. There's a lot of ways that you can make up and still earn a decent result here. It's not a big deal. Just do your best and, and see what you can do. The most important thing is to actually fill out the scorecard and see what happens, right? Take that information you learn and move forward with it. If you are striving for gold, I have some recommendations for you. If you are a pack, prioritize rank advancement. Make sure you're getting those scouts through the rank advancement each year, even if a scout joins in February. Can they get as far as they can? Uh, and as a quick example of that, when I had a scout, uh, a youth join my pack when I was a committee chair in September or October, and they earned Bobcat, that is a rank advancement, okay? I, I don't care what somebody else says, they earn Bobcat, they, they count, it's all good. Uh, for troops, encourage and make sure that there are opportunities for your scouts to advance. Uh, make sure your scouts have knowledge of what the next step is, right? Most of us do a pretty good job of that, um, and, and it's a little bit more lenient on the troop side in terms of the goals, but for those of us that have, have top-heavy troops or troops that are more about getting out and camping and not as much about it, uh, advancement, see what you can do to make sure your scouts have those opportunities to advance. Service projects are a big part. You saw every single one of those had service. Doing at least a few service projects and getting them recorded in the online tool. Make sure that you get those in. Eagle projects counts. Uh, if a den goes out in your pack and just 
cleans up the garbage around the building your charter organization owns and offers to you. That is a service project. Record those in the tool. This isn't supposed to be some super lofty thing. It, it's us providing service to our community, to our charter organization, to our planet in the terms and, and, and um, a conservation projects. All those things count, right? Get your scouts to summer camp. Packs, troops, and crews. Get those scouts to some sort of a summer high adventure thing, whatever it is. Uh, and for troops, have a year-round camping tradition, a program that you get out all the time. Don't just shut down because there's a little bit of rain in the forecast. Or, or you know, our scouts are, are busy in the summer. They're going to National Jamboree. Yeah, that's great. Do you have other scouts that want to go and do something? And that doesn't mean that every single scout went on every single camp out. You did a thing as a troop, as a pack. Some people showed up. That's an event, and you're done. Making sure that your volunteer leaders are trained all this is online at this point except for um iols for scout masters and assistant scout masters you for most of our leadership we should be able to get trained without too much challenge uh having connections between our packs and our troops so that our fifth graders running the arrow of light have a troop to join they've visited some troops they know what you're all about right at least making an attempt at recruitment every single year, every single recruitment season. Um, it, it's hard, I know, but we're at that point where we really need to make sure that our programs remain viable by new scouts, new youth members coming in, right? So for troops, that's engaging with PACs. For PACs, that means reaching out and having events in at your charter organization, at your, your local school, whatever it is that you draw from, and just doing your very best to try to get as many new youth into your program as possible. Uh, and also having a budget, having a calendar, having that program planning meeting once a year that looks forward to the next calendar year, the next program year, and, and, and does the best we can to figure out a succession plan and what we're gonna do going forward. Okay. Because this message is for those folks that maybe don't have as much experience with Journey to Excellence, I'm going to explain to you why JTE matters. Um, for troops especially, you might go to something like We Blows Woods and have somebody come up to you with a Cub Scout who's looking at troops and ask the question, hey, how did you do with Journey to Excellence last year? It, it's a little bit of a pointed question, I know. But and in my 10 years of, of being a volunteer here in our area of scouting, um, I've heard that said maybe a half dozen times so it's not very common i've probably been to you know eight or nine weeblows woods total too <laughs> so it's not super common but it happens and to be able to talk to somebody and say oh yeah you know we look at our jte patches on my uniform and you know we have these things that we're working on these things are great and, and i'd love to talk about advancement and our our camping program that's the way to go it doesn't happen this kind of question doesn't happen with packs very much I'd love to hear if it did to you. That'd be really interesting. Uh, but that's one reason, just to have that out there. Um, it matters because we all get to celebrate in earning something, right? And this, this middle section of, of words on, on my slide is all about how for PACs, it's primarily earned by the adult volunteers. Troops, it's kind of a combination of youth and adults and crews as well. But um, we all get to celebrate in earning something. It's actually a pretty darn cool thing to be able to have everybody wear this brand new patch, trimmed in gold, hopefully, on your uniform. Adults, youth, everybody gets to wear it. Uh, for packs, ideally, it's transparent. It shouldn't be a big issue for the youth, just something they get to celebrate. And hopefully it's not a chore, it's just something that you use to improve your scouting program and is goal-oriented. It helps us to kind of put bounds on where we should be and what we should be doing. Further to why it matters, um, I really encourage our PACs and our troops, especially uh, crews as well, to give our volunteers and add a boy a thank you in the form uh, various forms one of the things you can do is a an award and i have a couple on the screen here uh, if you're not familiar with them scouters training is essentially available to anybody except for den leaders who volunteer so charter org rep all the way down to um scout masters and assistants den uh sorry not den leaders uh, committee members, committee chairs in your troop. You've got scout masters and assistants, the same thing. Committee members, committee chairs, trainers, uh, you know, you know your um, a new member coordinator, your uh, crew advisor, your associate advisors, all that stuff. It's all available. It's two years that you have to be a registered volunteer. And one of the points in each of these is that for each of those years, 
your unit has to earn, um, uh, earn unit excellence at least bronze as well as providing having you the person to, that gets the award provide what is called primary leadership in one or more goal within that now what does primary leadership mean to me when i was a pack committee chair i would basically look at the first goal that is budget and i would turn to my treasurer and say that's your goal your primary leadership i want to make sure we have a budget for our pack this calendar year it's brought to the committee and it is voted on that's that was that was that person's goal for the year and you can basically walk your way around your adult leadership team and make sure everyone has a primary goal whether it, hopefully it fits into what they do maybe it's just something that they get to chase and say hey how are we doing on on our service projects are we doing that right uh, another award i want to talk about is the scouters key this is for unit leaders cub masters scout masters crew advisors it's a three-year commitment and you'll notice it's a little bit harder. Out of two of those three years, your union has to earn silver in JTE to, to qualify for that. Um, interestingly, it's not a factor during the excellence isn't a factor in the den leader training awards. So uh, if you have den leaders, if you're a pack leader, make sure you get those, um, those scorecards, look at those. Uh, JTE is not a factor, which is kind of a good thing. Okay, a few quick points to revisit from our beginning. Uh, back to those of you who are hopefully a little bit more new to this. Uh, 2022 scorecards, there's a link right there on your screen. They were updated. Make sure you're using the most up-to-date uh, form for your unit, uh, 2022 especially. Read the goals carefully. Look at the verbs that, that are being used. Look at, um, if you need to, the worksheets that I, I pointed to you previously. Um, I hope I pointed them to you previously. Let's go take a look really quickly. So this is the, the JTE um, when you go to that link, you're going to find this. Scroll down. All of those scorecards exist here under units. You're going to see them in different years. Uh, I don't remember if I showed you this. Over here on the right, there are tracking workbooks. There's a lot of this stuff is old, so you don't have to necessarily worry about it too much. But the workbooks can be handy. And if you click into here, you'll have, again, each year by year. And if you are looking for, I'm going to bring up the pack spreadsheet right here. It's going to have three tabs. The one for 2022 that I just downloaded. The first one is set up an instruction. So you put in, you know, your number, your district name. So I'll go ahead and do this. One, two, three is my pack number. We're in Pacific Trail District. We did our reach order in 12, 31, 2022. And I'm doing this on January 6th, right? So boom. And if you go over here to the scorecard, you'll see it's already filling it out for you, right? And then the data entry is where you start putting in all the dates and checking the boxes. And yes, we had this many scouts and all these things. And you go through and you can just do the math. I'll do a really quick one that's pretty easy. Uh, the advancement is pretty darn. So let's say we had 30 scouts and, oh, this is the Cub Scout one. Let's say we had three lions and the number who earned Bobcat was six and at least 80 percent earn 12 adventures and blammo let's see I missed there and what you'll notice is it populated the gold section of the scorecard so yay we uh achieved uh, gold and some of these points will help you to to know what the math is to understand what's going on behind the scenes if you have any questions about membership about advancement all those things refer to this if you need to you can, if you want, print this tab, the scorecard. It has the bottom, the same exact uh, signature lines and dates. Print it as a one page, uh, preferably as a PDF, or print it as a piece of paper, and then take it to your your cup master, your committee chair, whatever, your, your, your scout master if you're a troop, have them sign it, and then get that to me. But this does all the math for you, which is kind of nice. Now, that's not how I did things as a committee chair, but you do what works for you. That's the point here. So uh, find those, and again, make sure that you have those to me, if at all possible, before or on February 24th, that Friday. Make sure they're signed, make sure they're dated, and I will sign them and get them into council for you. Uh, that is all I have for you this evening. I want to thank you for um, watching my presentation. Uh, if you have any questions, please feel free to reach out to me. Please feel free to ask. I'm here to help and answer questions as best I can. So thank you very much, and I look forward to seeing your Journey to Excellence scorecard in the future. Talk to you again.